Today we will be doing a beginner intermediate session focused on core strength and alignment. So during this workout, I would like you to focus on the precision of each movement. Move with intention and really listen to your body. Hello, I am Patricia. If you are watching this, I am guessing you have a Pilates reformer at home, which is wonderful. Today we will be doing a beginner intermediate session focused on core strength and alignment. At 61 years old and with over 30 years of teaching experience, I think I know what really works. So during this workout, I would like you to focus on the precision of each movement. So take your time, move with intention and really listen to your body. Please like, subscribe and share. Now let's get started. I would like you to put a medium spring and we are going to start with a footwork, but in a very special way. Uh, a very light spring because footwork usually is quite um, a lot of springs, but here I want you to try it with only a medium spring. You will feel your core muscles really much more. So we are not focusing on leg work, but instead we are going to focus on our breath and on core strength. So one medium spring, please also adjust the straps so that they are easily reachable. So we are lying down on the carriage and please make sure you are lying down well centered on your carriage. Now feet are parallel and you are on the metatarsal of the feet. So on the ball of the feet and pointing your feet so elevating the ankles, the heels. Inhale to press out. Pelvis is neutral and then exhale, closing the carriage with control. So we are not closing the carriage too quick. Everything we do here will be with control and precision. It's an inhale pressing out and it's an exhale closing the carriage, resisting against this low spring. Often when we do footwork, many people, many students, I notice that they are closing the carriage too quick. Here it is teaching you how to control the return on the carriage, which is great. I like to teach that to my beginner students. Exhale, closing the carriage. Now I want you to imagine a glass of water on your pelvis. So making your pelvis really stable and staying neutral the whole time. Inhaling through the nose and exhaling through your mouth. One more time, inhale and then breathe out. Pilates tense, heels together, toes apart. Inhale, press out and exhale, we close. So this might look uh, a bit easy at the beginning, but if you really focus on your breath, and on pelvic alignment and the control of the carriage, this is not so easy. Remember to maintain the low, the posterior lower lobes of the rib cage against the carriage. We are not bringing the lower back on the mat. Remember, we are neutral. And we go for two more. And breathe out. Remember to stabilize your ankle joint and breathe out, return. Now, reposition your feet, hips width apart. One leg to tabletop, we inhale to press out and we exhale, lengthen this leg. So we start with single leg and we breathe. And we align, so hips are squared. Pelvis is neutral. No tension on your neck and breathe. If you want, you can also play with your ankle joint. We point and we flex. Inhale, point. Exhale, flex. Two more times. 
last one and flex now develop it and leg down develop it point leg down flex continue and flex inhale leg up exhale leg down hips are squared and exhale mind your rib cage placement they are they should not pop out huh? imagine a glass of water on your pelvis as you move last one and open flex and return inhale press out opposite leg exhale single leg bicycle dorsiflex ankle inhale point exhale flex really focus on your breath and on the precision of the movement So it's up to you if you want to put more spraying or if you want to focus more on core and precision of the movement, which is very valuable and benefit much more on your core. Last one. And breathe out. Now inhale leg up and straight. Exhale leg down below the foot bar. Breathing in and point. Breathing out, flex the foot. And exhale. Continue to breathe. Continue to be very precise on the movement. And last one. And return. Great. Now, let's add another spring. So now we have one strong and one medium spring. We are going to start to work upper body. So abdominals, shoulders, lats, triceps. A lot of engagement. So here we start into arms arms pointing up to the sky, legs into tabletop, we inhale, now we are into an imprinted position, so the lower back is melting the mat as we exhale, pulling the ropes, inhale, return to starting position, exhale, pull, we continue this flow, and now we lengthen one leg at a time, one, just hovering above the foot bar, you can also play with your ankle joint, flexing and pointing. So stability of the torso here over the mobility of the arms and the gesture leg. Keep your imprinted position and continue this flow. So you should feel your deep abdominals and internal obliques also working here to imprint and create stabilization on the pelvis. Last one. And return to your starting position. Arm circle. One. So if you want, you can keep your legs into tabletop if it's too difficult to coordinate. But if you feel okay, you can lengthen your legs at the same time you open the carriage. Exhale, pull and lengthen legs. Inhale, return. 
exhale and breathe in as you exhale to lengthen your legs make sure you zip your legs together trying to create adherence on the lower body as you zip those legs one more time keeping the imprint now we reverse zip and zip and imprint stay strong and focused two more times last one stay now bend your elbows and your knees exhale lengthen one inhale flex elbows and knees exhale lengthen so here my elbows are slightly hovering above the carriage to create a little bit more challenge for my shoulders to stay really stable make sure you still imprint and make sure you still zip your legs together we go for three more two and last one bring your knees to your chest hug your knees and balance your pelvis side to side good now we are going to flex the elbows again and we exhale bring legs up to the sky lengthen legs and stabilize your arms inhale nod my chin exhale curl up 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 inhale lengthen your legs stay exhale single straight leg stretch and exhale we keep the imprinted position and we keep the leg just hovering above the foot bar keeping your shoulders away from the ears still pelvis imprinted very stable torso if your neck is an issue just bring your head down and lower the range this is for neck issue if you can bring the head up then deepen the range two more last one legs up bend your knees rest your head hands on your knees massaging your lower back all right now we are going to leave the in straps on the floor and we lower the headrest getting ready for shoulder bridge shoulder bridge with heels on the foot bar we still have the same spring setup we inhale to prepare the pelvis is neutral as we exhale we first imprint slightly then we start to connect the glutes to peel the spine up vertebra by vertebra passing through imprint and opening the front of the hips we inhale stay here as we exhale we press the carriage out and we inhale to return breathe out and press out breathe in return we continue the flow making sure we want to create a length on the front of the hips so the challenge here is to feel our glutes our, our hamstrings and our deep abdominals to stabilize the pelvis over the mobility of the knee joints keep breathing guys keep opening the front of the hips remember Shh. 
we go for two more. Last one. Close carry edge. Inhale. Arms overhead. And exhale. Roll your spine down. Vertebra by vertebra. Good. Now, ball off the feet on the foot bar in a turn out position. Pilates stance. Inhale to prepare. Exhale. Imprint. And peel your spine off exactly like we did before, feeling the glutes connection here. Inhale, we step. Exhale, we press out, keeping your heels together. Inhale, return, carry at home. And exhale, press out. So really try, emphasize really on relaxing your neck and keeping those hips open. Careful not to arch your lower back. This is a sign of weakness on the glutes. So really make sure you connect your glutes and your abdominals. So it's very important that you don't feel any tension, any pain on your lower back. And if it's the reason, if it's if really you feel tension on the lower back then it's a sign that you are not connecting your glutes and your abdominals enough. So really connect. Two more times. Last one. Arms over the head. Inhale. And exhale. Roll your spine down. Vertebra by vertebra. By bringing your arms overhead, you feel even more stretch on your spine. It really feels good. Hands on your knees, massaging your back side to side. All right. Good. Now we are just rolling on the side and we are changing the spring now here into one strong spring. Transition to mermaid. So we are sitting with legs into a letter Z position here, Z. And if this is uncomfortable for you, just maybe you place a pillow below your sit bones. It's very important that your hips should be as squared as possible. We inhale and we lengthen through the top of the head. As we exhale, we press the carriage out, creating a letter C shape. Inhale, return upright and then exhale repeat so making sure you initiate this movement from your lats and your oblique exhale so the the common mistake i see when people are practicing this mermaid is that people are often opening too far so you are not actually working your obliques you are then working only the shoulder here, we want to focus on working not only the shoulder joint, but also obliques. So really making sure you are going to shorten this oblique. And also making sure that your torso remains like in sandwich between two walls. Imagine a wall in front of you and behind you. We go for two more. Last one. And then return. Opposite side, just a single stretch. Just to stretch this oblique that was working before. And we pulse four times. One, two, three and last one four we return upright and we switch to opposite side all right so making sure you align yourself inhale lengthen through the top of the head exhale pressing out so remember here 
to keep your seat bones and cord on the carriage or on the pillow that you would eventually put below. And then exhale, press out again, creating a letter C with your spine. Don't overextend also this elbow. No tension on the shoulder or on the elbow joint here. This is a, a strong spring only. So really, you should really feel here your oblique and your shoulder as you perform this exercise. Two more. Maintaining a good cervical alignment also here. And we return upright and we switch to opposite side. Inhale, lengthen and exhale, stretch and pulse. Four, three, two, and last one, four and we return upright. Transition for back rowing. So for back rowing, we still have the same resistance. It's a strong resistance, strong spring. Make sure you have one hand distance behind your pelvis because we are going actually to bring the sacrum on this area here. And we cross the legs at the ankle joint. So carriage is closed, we inhale. As we exhale, we're gonna curl here, abdominals, creating a nice scoop on the abdominals, pulling the belly in, in, in. We inhale to stay, and on the exhale, we close the carriage fully, creating this full spinal flexion. And then as we inhale, we articulate from tailbone to head. Exhale, curl and create a posterior pelvic tilt. Scooping the belly, inhale. Exhale, close the carriage with control, not too fast. As the carriage is closed, inhale, articulate sequentially your spine. Sit bones and cord on the bed. Exhale, curl and pull gently the ropes toward your sternum and keep opening your collarbones here. So it's not about rounding the upper back, it's about rounding the lower back. It's a posterior pelvic tilt. And then exhale, return. We go for two more, inhale. And exhale, pull, scoop. Keep the pose, inhale. And breathe out and return. And breathe in, last one. Breathing in. And breathing out. Scooping the belly. Inhaling, articulating your spine. Now we are going to add a rotation to this movement. So we breathe in, same focus. Lengthen through the spine. Breathe out, pull, scoop, and bring the sacrum toward the bed. Inhale. As you exhale, rotate from the midsection of the back. Inhale to the center. Opposite side, exhale. Breathe into the center and breathe out, close the carriage. Like before. Inhale. Articulate the spine, tailbone to head, and repeat. Exhale, roll down, scooping the belly, squeezing your backside. So see, make sure you open the front of the hips even here. Exhale, now we rotate toward the right. The pelvis is very stable here. Exhale, we mobilize only the upper torso. And close the carriage. 
inhale, articulate your spine. And now we are going to create a little, a little, a little bit of variation from here. Exhale, roll down. Inhale, we step. Exhale, rotate. Inhale, open and open chest also. Exhale, return to flexion and rotation in inhale center. Exhale, rotate to opposite side. Keep the spinal flexion and rotation. Inhale, rotate and flat back. Exhale, return to flexion, rotation. Inhale, center. Exhale, close the carriage. One more time. Breathing out. Breathing in, we step. Breathing out. Breathing in. Lengthen your spine and keep rotation. Breathing out. Flex and roll. keep the rotation. Inhale, center. Opposite side. Exhale, rotate. Inhale, open arms, extend your chest, chest up. Exhale, return to flexion rotation. Inhale, center. Exhale, close the carriage. And return to the sitting position. All right, now we are going to prepare for chest expansion. So for chest expansion, we are kneeling just behind the shoulder blocks. We are now folding our straps, kneeling upright, making sure we are connecting enough the glutes here to open up the front of the hips. So this is not, I don't want to see that, I want to see this. So really deepening the glutes connection. Inhale, we prepare energy on the top of your head. Exhale, we pull. Working the lats and triceps, erector spinae also working here to maintain spinal elongation and breathing out and breathing in. Feeling your glutes also engaged. Slowly when you close the carry edge and slowly when you open, slow motion. Only the shoulder joint is moving. Last one. And stay. Inhale, looking side to side. Exhale, looking to the center. Inhale, return the carriage. Repeat one more time. Exhale, center. Inhale, close carriage. And leave the straps on the floor hands on the rail. We are ready now for a reverse knee stretch as, is, as it is called. So this exercise is a reverse knee stretch, round back. Inhale, pelvis is neutral as we exhale, flexing your spine. Inhale, return to a neutral alignment. Exhale, scoop the belly making sure you initiate this movement from your abdominals. Exhale, it's a scoop. Inhale, return to neutral. So if the spring is too strong, don't hesitate to place a medium spring. Here I am practicing still with my strong resistance.
but for beginners I will advise to place a medium spring and for intermediate this is this is a strong spring careful not to put any tension on your neck we go for two more Closing the carriage slowly, as usual. And return the carriage home, child pose. Inhale, breathe, stay. Exhale, roll your spine up from your lower back to the upper back. All right, we are now going to face <clears throat> the foot bar and we are going to add a medium spring. Now, I would like to um, practice elephant run back and flat back. So we stand up here with the heels against the shoulder blocks. Now, be careful when you practice elephant. It's not about stretching. It's not about bringing the pelvis toward the back. It's about being centered like feeling the weight of the body against your feet equally distribute and also a little bit your hand so it's not about being at the back it's not being at the front it's being it's about being in between and we are going to really round the back into elephant run back when you practice this exercise don't put too much pressure on your wrist making sure you have no wrinkle, I like to say no wrinkle on your wrist. It's an exhale to close the carriage and it's an inhale to open. As you close the carriage, make sure you close the carriage with your abdominals. Inhale, press out. And exhale, close. Your arms are fully straight. But give me, the, give, try to get the feeling that you want, like if you want to bring the foot bar, to squeeze the foot bar, like to the center. So you really feel the shoulder joint, the, the arms into a lateral rotation as you practice that exercise. So it's about laterally rotating your arms to really keep the shoulder blades against the rib cage. So no tension on your shoulder joints. Inhale, press out. And then exhale, close. Two more. Last one. Transition now to elephant flat back. Inhale to press out. Exhale to close. So for elephant flat back, the challenge is to maintain your rib cage placement here. So careful not to pop out your rib cage. So keep breathing in, expanding your ribs like an accordion sideways. And as you exhale, draw the belly toward your spine. Keep spinal stabilization through the series. Exhale, stabilize. Your shoulders still away from your ears. Keep your arms in a slight lateral rotation as you practice. Two more. Last one. Good. Kneeling on the carriage, left foot on the foot bar, inhale. Um, ready for hip stretch, exhale, pressing out. So here it's not about splitting, it's about creating a stretch on the psoas, so on the front of the hip, exhaling to press out, making sure you connect your glute to do this exercise. So it's about hip extension, 
and it's about opening the collarbones also. Think about your spine. Do not round your back. Stay in control. And we exhale to press out. So as you can see, my the tip of my tip of my fingers only are on the foot bar. If I put my hands, I will tend to round my back. But with the tip of my fingers, it's likely like you know, I'm just it helps me to really open more my collarbones. Last one. And we come back. We switch now to opposite side. Inhaling to prepare and exhaling to press out. Remember to connect your glutes as you press the carriage out. Also remember it's not about pressing out a lot, it's about Pressing with your glute. It's about hip extension. Last one. And we close the carriage. All right, we are now stepping out and we remove a medium spring. So now we have one strong spring and I'd like to continue with an exercise called scooter. For scooter, we want to stabilize the full torso and the pelvis over the mobility of the carriage leg. Both knees are flexed, exhale. Now we coordinate with the arms working still the hip extensors, but also the quadriceps of the stable leg. Pressing, pressing, pressing out, inhale, come back, exhale, press out. We stay tall. So focus on your alignment. Think about neutral spine. You can practice this exercise with dumbbells, if you have. Two more. Last one. And we close the carriage. Now we place the foot at the front and we press the carriage even more and fully extend both legs. Chest up, give yourself a good stretch and then return the carry at home. We switch to opposite side for scooter opposite side and so of course the carriage leg, the knee of the carriage leg is hovering. So we exhale to press out Inhale to close. Now with the arms. So careful not to arch your back. It's about neutral spine. Keep breathing. Last one. Good. Now we step forward a little bit. Carriage knee is touching and we press out and lengthen both legs. Give yourself a good stretch. And we come back to close the carriage. Now we are going to kneel again here feet on the headrest, legs into 
diamond shape, as we say. And we are now going to create a cat and cow. So we bring the chest toward the floor, arching the back, feeling a great stretch on the shoulder joint. As we exhale, we round the back. So it's about inhaling, arching, and exhaling, rounding. Inhale. Make sure you keep your shoulders away from the ears. Make sure you respect your rhythm and level here. Don't go too far. You can do this exercise also with a medium spring, especially if you're very petite, very light body. And feeling really the spine moving into round back and into arch back. Using the abdominals to close the carriage. Inhale, press out, stabilizing your shoulders. As you can see, my arms are not moving. What is moving here is only my spine. One more time. And exhale, come back. Sitting on the shoulder blocks and articulating your spine. Good. Now I am going to face the foot bar, my feet against the shoulder blocks. Ready for a camel stretch. So another stretch. Inhale, arms switching up to the sky, opening the front of my hips. Exhale, only one arm moving, touching the shoulder block, looking up, inhale. Exhale, return upright. Inhale, sweep arms. And exhale, opposite side. Inhale, we stay. And exhale, we return. Inhale, arms reaching up. And exhale, extend. Both hands on the shoulder blocks. And trying to really lift from the sternum and to create a retraction on the shoulder joints, on the scapular. Opening the front of the hips. Breathe. On your next exhalation, arms up. And sit into child pose. Step toward the back to create more stretch on the shoulders. Breathe. Inhale, and as you exhale, slowly rolling up, bone by bone. Good. We are now going to add another spring. So we have now two strong springs. We lie down on the carriage and we pick up the straps, feet in straps. Feet in straps. Headrest is down. We continue with short spine. We inhale, legs together and up toward the sky, pelvis is neutral. As you exhale, imprint and start to peel off your spine to lift your legs up to jackknife and articulate spine to go up into jackknife. Inhale. Bend your knees to frog, creating even more stretch on your spine. Exhale, articulate your spine without moving, without pulling the ropes. Inhale, pull the ropes from the knees. And exhale, lengthen your knees. Inhale, legs together and up. Pelvis is neutral. Exhale, now imprint. Lift up your legs. Bring the weight of your body on your shoulder blades. Make sure you don't go too high. 
no weight on the knee on the on no weight on your neck inhale bend your knees creating more stretch on the lower spine as you exhale articulate your spine and as you inhale pulling the ropes from the legs return to neutral alignment and exhale lengthen your knees inhale legs up exhale peel off Feet in Pilates stance, squeeze your backside, open the front of the hips. Inhale, bend your knees. Exhale, roll down. Inhale, pull. Exhale, lengthen. We continue. And we peel off. Inhale, bend. Exhale, roll down. Inhale, pull, pull, pull. And exhale, lengthen your knees. Spine to neutral. Inhale, spine into neutral again. Exhale, now imprint. Peel your spine off. Engage your glutes and your abdominals. Scoop your belly. Inhale, bend your knees. And exhale, roll your spine down. Remember not to move the ropes here. Now, pull the ropes. Inhale, spine is neutral. And exhale, lengthen. Let's do one more time. Inhale, legs up. Exhale, imprint and peel off. Scoop the belly, squeeze. Inhale, bend your knees. Exhale, roll down. Inhale, pull. And exhale, lengthen. Headrest is up. And we open legs wide. And we bend the knees. And Stretching, just, just opening your legs into this position, legs to frog, resting on this position into a kind of corpse position, breathing. So this is the end of the class, so cooling down, breathing, and breathe out. Now we are going to remove one strap. So let's remove the left one. And what we're going to do now is left foot is on the foot bar, opening the right arm and shifting the right leg to the left, stretching into this position here. Keep the sacrum as close as possible to the mat first creating a nice stretch for the side of the leg for the tensor fascia latte here some of you maybe feel a lot of stretch here on the side of the leg it means you need to do that it's a sign of often it's a sign of sitting for long hours and not stretching enough, so it's good to do that. And then we come back, bringing the leg to the center. Now we are going to turn out both legs, but this time we will keep slightly the carriage here, and we will open now the strap leg. We look toward the opposite direction here, for a good adductor stretch here. So make sure you keep your hips squared when you do that. It's not about, you see, here, th this will be wrong. Don't close maybe too much the carriage. Respecting your level here, your hips must be squared. Remember that. Now we bring back the leg to the center and we switch to the opposite side. So left foot now is into the strap pressing the carriage out and shifting your leg now to the opposite direction and looking in a position left arm open wide stretch and just a low to just a low to move respecting your level your rhythm So this exercise, this stretch can feel good, but it can also feel really difficult for some 
of the people, depending on the flexibility of the fascia. Okay, now we are returning to the center and we are now going to turn out both legs to create a great stretch for the inner thigh and we look to the opposite direction as usual. And return to the center, removing the foot and closing the carriage. Good job guys, you're done for today. Thank you for watching me and please like, subscribe and share. See you next time for another workout and stay tuned. See you next time. Bye-bye.